Hey, what's up, Transformers family, fellow fans, friends, collectors galore. I am Agent Orange, and I'm not here to bore. Um, but hey, you're probably wondering what you are looking at, and I was also wondering that as I was putting it together, and much to my delight, I found that the Titan Masters are compatible with the Fossilizers. And so today, I bring to you Fossilizer Double Cross, one of the monster bots. If you are familiar with the monster bots from G1 and also who had kind of um, uh, their 15 minutes in Titan, Titan's Returns, you know who this guy is. He has the classic um, double cross. You know what? Let me see if I can go find my... Hold on for a second. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah, so he's double cross. So if you're unfamiliar with who he is, it's my man right here. You know this guy right here? And so, yeah, he got the two claws on his arms and he got the little wings in his back, but his head is being borrowed right now, the Titan Masters, for this fossilizer um, uh, combo that I did. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it, actually. Um, the legs are recycled from another build, from one that um, worked on with um, Sky Knight Prime. But um, I figured I'd just kind of use him. Um, and look, I think he's kind of cool. He has his classic double dragon head hands, and he has his little wings in the back, and he got the double cross face. You know, he kind of looks like um, Scattershot from um, the Technobots. Huh. Interesting. Something to think about. But yeah, let's do a quick 360. What song is that? Why is that in my head? Um, but yeah, take a look at our guy. He's pretty cool. Um, I don't think he's utilizing... Um, I mean, he's using the bits from um, three Paleotrexes, but I didn't use all of them just because, I don't know, I didn't want it to get too busy. I probably could have pulled it off with two, but the real reason why I needed three is is this hip piece over here. But you know what? If I can do without these hip pieces on the bottom, um, I could probably recreate this guy with two. But for now, he is using um, three and really just got a proof of concept to kind of show um, what you can do by combining... Um, different lines you know and just kind of like having fun and i'm really really stoked that i'm able to use arachnonite's body upside down uh versus just utilizing his head as um his head i guess it's still the head yeah um <laughs> but um anyway i don't know should we go should we go to like a full-blown tutorial yeah i guess um I'm gonna crack him open at the waist right over here, but um, I mean, here, take a look at one more time. All right, I'm gonna crack him open at the waist over here, but yeah, I'm so pleased. Um, I tried plugging the head, in, head into the weaponizers and it wouldn't work. Um, the weaponizers here, let me grab it and the modulators. Uh, they started changing it. Um, when we got brunt, like the hole started becoming a little bit more hexagonal, you know, um, when they were just straight circles before. Um, but yeah, the hole started getting more hexagonal, 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 and with the port that exists um, right there in that blurry shot, you can see the port is hexagonal, hex, it's a hexagon, it's not a circle, and that's actually what's allowing the head to just kind of like, get in there. Anyway, more on that later. Let's take a look at these legs right now how these legs are made um, at the top is, uh, I mean, you, obviously you can start recognizing some familiar bits, but to make it easy, let's get rid of the five bits. Um, and this is actually covered in the, um, the, the, the other video. Um, but sure. Why not? It's slightly different. And so it's all beefed out stands relatively well when, when, when both of them are present and the bits that you need are basically one dino head, a buckler, Pilly Trex thighs, Paley tricks calves and feet. One of the one of that bl uh, the blade um, Paley tricks uh, bit. You know what I'm talking about that kind of axe blade thing, and then two of the hand um, claw things. And this is look, like, doo -doo, it's like stretching or something like that. Like, <laughs> but basically you have. It's really easy. This is the Paleotrex leg contraption, right? These are his thighs and these are his legs. And you're basically having a, that hug the blade bit at the, the middle junction right there. You're having it hug that. Then you're plugging in the calves right there. Then you're plugging in the hands up at the top. You're kind of interlacing the fingers so that they stay together. And then you're just bending it into that cavity um, inside the head. 
and then just figuring out the fit and finish there. And the head is angled like so, so that the dyno head is flat on the ground like that. And um, everything will support itself well once there are two feet present. But yeah, so once again, it's just the entire paleotrek leg contraption, this thing over here, plugged into the head, uh, the dyno head with the buckler on the back. And then this is hugging that blade um, bit. I mean, it's me it's meant to do that. If you've, if you've transformed payload tricks, you know what I'm talking about. It's meant to fit. And with the dyno feet, you just kind of interlock the fingers, and you can bend everything down. I mean, you don't even need to really interlock the fingers. You can just bend everything down. And then just have it there. Yeah. And both sides are like that, actually. All right, they're identical. And then you just plug those in to the... Um, Plug those into the top. And that's it. Yeah, so I'm gonna put these to the side, right? I think they look cool. They're cool, they're very stable. They're very, very stable. To the side. So over here, oof, I like this so much. I like the fact that they have different heads now, because you know, I was getting a little tired of the skeleton head and um, you know, the ractonite head. I mean, no offense guys, I love you, but you know, all the guys are looking the same. Um, so I was stoked to get transmetal and also um uh, I forget what's the Triceratops, um, other one, the, the red and black, um, Ractonite. Um, red and black tonight? Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see. The easiest way to take this guy apart is first pop off his arms. His arm basically consists of the top of the paleo tail plugged into one of the small rack legs and then the head. So I'm just going to pop that off. And when you pop that off and then this head thing, you want, you want to bend back like later when you're bending the arm, like a bicep, but you can extend it. You do, do whatever you want. Um, and then, you know, that, um, the top of the tail bit has these two pegs on the bottom. You want, you're going to want the peg facing outward, meaning, um, it's facing the same direction as the head because that makes it so that this peg is on the back. And then you're going to take the paleo calf. You're going to plug that in at the knee joint and at the heel joint of that calf, you're going to plug in this ax contraption. And that basically becomes this wing, like this bony wing, um, Bony wing. You guys know Bony M? Yo, if you, if you don't know Bony M, check out Bony M. That's some old school stuff, and they're legit. Um, but this is supposed to be this wing contraption over here. And so, yeah. And so, you get that. The other arm is basically the same thing. Dino head, paleo small leg, top of the, top of the, uh, or sorry, sorry. Rack head, small rack tail. Oh, oh my gosh. Rack the night head, small rack the night leg. Paleo top of the tail, paleo robot calf, axe. And uh, as I explained, the other arm. Um, yeah, and they're symmetric. And these little nubs up at the top over here are going to be plugging upward. Um, so they're fighting gravity a little bit. They are plugging upward into those little ports right there on the underside of, um, of the small rack legs. And so this is a very solid PC, so the legs aren't moving around. And why? It's because the Paleotrix calf is connecting them together in the back. And so this is just a Ractonite body, a Titan Returns head. Um, you could fit anyone that you want there. I also found that the Titan Return heads, um, not all of them fit um, as well as this one. Some of them are a little bit too tight. Um, like, was it Fangry? Um, I think his is pretty tight. And yeah, so how this is made is just, oops, a little piece of paper. It looks like he took a deuce because um, I had to tighten up the joint. Um, it's just, sorry. Right. If you undo this calf bit back there, yeah, that's it. Easy, right? It's the rack body flipped over, tightens, returns head plugged into the top, and you got the two small legs plugged in at the side, and they are secured um, in the back using the paleo calf. Ooh, that's tight fit. Tight fit. Um, and then you kind of just put everything together. Push that through. And you just kind of angle it. Um, and because, like I said, they're fighting gravity and sometimes the fit isn't the tightest, um, if you want to beef it up using tiny pieces of paper, by all means, live the dream and just have fun at the end of the day. Don't feel stressed, you know? This should not bring you stress. These are just toys and we're just having so much fun. I'm having a lot of fun and I hope you are too. Um, then you plug that in at that little waste port at the bottom. That's it. As I hold up, let me get him cleaned up off camera. Okay, we're back. Yeah, he's cleaned up now. So yeah, 
yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, fossilizer double cross. Man, now I'm so excited that I have so many different like heads to pick from. And um, I'm curious to see what will come of this um, new learnings um, when Wingfinger gets in town. Yeah. But thanks so much for joining me. Uh, my name is Agent Orange, and I hope you have are having. I hope you are having a wonderful time uh, today. Hope you can smile. Hope there's good memories and good things, activity, food, people in your life that can make you happy. Um, if not, watch my videos, and I'll do my best to entertain. So yeah, once again, I'm Agent Orange. Thank you so much for watching, and hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye.